Boston. I'm Chris. <laughs> this, is, this is Ken Jamin. Hi, I'm Ken. I play bass. I'm Chris Savage. I'm Derek. I hit drums. Brad. I yell things. What's that? Um, could you tell us about your new album? Yes. Um, we put on a new album called All You Are back in September, and uh, we recorded with a lovely man named Dean Beltalonis. He did stuff with like brand new. And Hope Conspiracy and Trust Under Ice and a bunch of awesome little bands. And um, basically, we kind of wanted to take our own material and just take everything and maximize it, make it, take it all to the extremes and kind of, I don't know, push ourselves definitely musically, lyrically, drummingly, drummingly, guitarly, yeah, drumming basically. Yeah. What do you want to get your viewers and fans? Um, them to feel and know off of the new album? Uh, just basically to recognize what we're actually trying to convey in the songs, what message we're putting out. Not just listen to the music and hope that there's a heavy part or that there's the coolest part or whatever it is, just take something from it, listen to it, feel something and pass it on to a friend. How did your band get started? Um, basically it was, it was a band before this for a couple months and then uh, they were looking for a little quiz on MySpace, so it was a long time ago, like 1947 I think. And um, so I answered it, we started jamming, and then we kind of switched up how the band sounded. Got new members, toured, put out CDs, blah blah blah, here we are. This is this is shot hard around the world right now, that's all anyone really needs to know, is that anything that happened before, happened before, we're trudging forward with our new album, our new sound. Could you tell us about how tour is going? The tour has been awesome. It's going awesome. I think there was really one show where like there were a few kids there, but literally every venue, every show, there's been a bunch of kids, and everybody has come and talked to us, picked something up to take home with them. It's been awesome, and definitely looking forward to coming back and hanging out with all those people. It's, it's been, been great. It's been a lot like being far from home and going to these places. That everyone's really made us feel like we're at home and not really. 10,000 miles away from our beds. So. Yeah, no, that's that's the coolest thing. You feel definitely. like you're playing a show at home because yeah. the kids are that like. Well, Everyone's very right. hospitable. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word, hospitality. I also feel like you're gonna hit my train. I feel like <laughs> you're hit my train. We've all got trains. We've all got bad backs. Feel like I don't know. We've all got bad backs. Yeah. We're old. <laughs> Immediately going to town <laughs> after. Yeah. We need a walker. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to say to uh, your fans or family back home? Thank you so much for the you. form of support. Yeah, everyone. It, it means more to us than you realize just walking through the door and paying to see a band. Even if it's a band that you don't know, it, it means the world to them. So continue to do that, whether it's for us or anybody else. Just yeah, it's keep doing it. Really important that people keep coming out and helping the scene because you know, a lot of scenes are starting to hurt. And when people come out to shows like this and you know, you start seeing people gathering, it's really good that everyone can join together and support, support, support music today, yeah. and stay away from drugs and stuff like that. So it's keep do something positive. Do something positive, yeah. Funk ain't dead, baby. Okay, funk ain't dead. Funk ain't keep dead. the funk alive. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you. It was nice to meet you.